Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh and a very good day everyone. So um, since that we couldn't have our workshop which is uh, supposed to be scheduled tomorrow, so this is a kind of an excerpt that I want to share with all of you on how to do the landing page. So uh, you need to log in to openlearning.com and go to the course that you have created before. All right. So once the students uh, join the course, so this is uh, the page that they are going to have. So I'm showing you an example of uh, becoming efficient technical communicators. So what are the informations that you need to have in this page? So you need to put uh, any images, any objects related to the course that you have developed. And then you need to give some input, some information about the course. Right, apart from that, you need to also have course information, which consists the course outcome for the course. And then additionally, you can also put in some additional information about the course. For example, here it is stated there are four assessments that are compulsory for you to complete. Click on assessment for the instructions and questions. Other than that, we will also provide you with this creative common signage so that you can put it on the landing page in terms of copyright. So how to edit it? Simple, you just click on edit. And then given on the left hand side of the page, you have the widgets here. Okay, and then in order for you, for example, you need to put in a video, you just click on video and then drag it and put it here like this. Okay, and then here is the tab for video. So you just click on this tab in case if you want to put a video, put a title to it. Okay, uh, let me double check the spelling there. All right, and then if it is uploaded in YouTube, or Vimeo or maybe HTML5, you can have the link and put it here and then you can click finish, finish editing once you have completed. Okay, so once you have uh, uploaded the information, additional information or maybe videos or images to the page, the landing page, what you can do is that you can click on view and then you have it here. Okay, right. And then if you want to change the layout of the things, let's say you think that this is not supposed to be here and then you want to put it on top of it, you just drag and drop to rearrange it. For example, here. Okay, right. And then you click back on edit. Okay, in case you want to change the name here, you can also click on this thing to change the, the thumbnail. And then once you have finished, don't forget to click finish editing and click view to see your work. That's it for landing page. Hi, welcome back. So now we have done with the landing page. Next, what to do? So in the next thing that you need to do in order for you to progress in developing MOOC is on the chapters. So for this part, okay, you can look at the left hand side of your page here. You go to course setup and then you click on content. Once you have clicked on content, it will bring you to this page. Okay, for example, this is the course on becoming efficient technical communicators. And as you can see, there are few modules that have been developed. And under each of the module, we have the sub modules. So how to create each and individual module. So you scroll down to the bottom of the page. And you can see this tab at a new module. So in order for you to create a new module, you click on it. And then I just put it as testing. So you click enter. Then you will have this module. So this is a module. And how are you going to have the sub module given inside here? Okay. So what you're supposed to do, 
add the page here click on add the page and then you put in maybe chapter one click enter oh since that it has been created before so why don't we use like maybe module one yes now you have module one okay so you can click counts towards progress meaning that the students have to complete this module or this sub module in order for them to get the progression here next if you want to have the next module so you just click in another module name so i just put it as module 2 and don't forget to click enter so how to edit each of the page here so you just click on the edit page and then it will bring you to this thing so let's say you want to change the name of the module you can put it here if you notice you have the widgets like the one that you have in the landing page so it is similar actually so in order for you to have it for example you want to have the instructional video so you can just drag click on it drag and drop it here so you are going to have this tab so this is on the video so if you want to give the, the title of the video and also the url for example you can type it here okay so this is how you are going to do it so I just click X here because I want to remove it. Okay. And then let's say you want to put in some information about it. This is the introduction to technical communication. Let me do the correction over here. Okay, maybe you can put it like by end of this module students will be able to so what are the things so you add in any of the relevant information here once you have done click finish editing and then you click save and close then you have the modules so hopefully this information will be helpful for you in creating first the landing page, secondly the module. So we are waiting for the feedback from all of you and hopefully by the end of this week or this month of March, you are able to create the landing page, module 1 or chapter 1 and module 2 or chapter 2. The content wise, you need to make sure that you have uploaded the slides okay and maybe you can put in some additional information images or anything related or relevant to the topic or the module for the instructional video part you don't have to worry because we are going to start the recording session in early april so we will keep you updated with the latest information thank you